let's look at number three. So number three is asking us how many valence electrons does zinc have? So valence electrons of zinc. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up a periodic table because we're going to need to know our periodic table for this solution here. Um, and we want to know where zinc is, right? So we want the valence electrons of zinc. So zinc here is number 30 here. So zinc here is, um, you can think of this as group 12 and uh, our, uh, yeah, this here is group 12 and number 30 here. So we care about what are the valence electrons uh, does zinc have? So if we were to kind of approach this question using our Bohr-Rutherford diagram, you're going to realize that this Bohr-Rutherford diagram is going to fail for zinc because zinc here um, is going to be a, uh, Zinc here is a, a multivalent compound, right? You're going to see that zinc here has much more, um, uh, ha has basically adopts different uh, valence electrons depending on which uh, oxidation state it, it's at. So um, if we were to write the Bohr Rutherford diagram, you're going to realize we're group 12, you're not going to really get um, a lot of, it's going to be basically um, not valid for this problem here. Uh, recall that Bohr Rutherford is kind of a, um, it's limited basically to basically the first kind of two rows of, of, of the of the periodic table and then after the third row it completely becomes uh, invalid basically due to the creation of SBDF orbitals and how um, 3d you have uh, you have uh, D or the D block and the F block as well that totally do not follow the Bohr Rutherford um, theory. In this case, zinc here possesses is in the 3D10 block, right? So basically, we can't use a Bohr Rutherford, so we need to use the electron configuration diagram here. So right down here, we need to know the electron configuration. Electron configuration of zinc. How do we know that? Well, we know Zn is our zinc here, and then we're going to write out the electron configuration. So we can see that zinc here lies here, so it has to possess hydrogen and helium, so this is 1s2. So remember, it's SPDF, right? And basically listing it from the beginning, so this is 1s2. We have 2s2 is our next block, contains those two electrons, 2s2. And then I have this is the 2p6, right? Again, the group 18 is cut off here, but I know that uh, that would also, it would also contain the 2p6 electrons. I have 3s2 here for these two electrons. I'm going to have 3p6 for these electrons. Remember, zinc is here, right? So it's going to contain 3p6 here. I'm going to have 4s2 for these two electrons. And then finally, I have these this block, right? And zinc is lies at the end of group 12. So this here would be my 3D10 block. So this is the D block. And as you can see, you can very, very much see here that Bohr-Rutherford fails here because again, I have 10 electrons in an orbital, right? Or in Bohr-Rutherford states that what? It's like maximum of two and then eight and then 18 or something like that, or, um, or eight, another eight, I don't know. Either way, the Bohr-Rutherford diagram fails here. So um, in this case here, I'm looking at zinc here, and I'm looking at what are the valence electrons? Well, I'm looking at basically the highest principal quantum number, which here is um, four, remember here, and the princi principal quantum number of zinc here is n equals four, right? Because I'm looking at the biggest or uh, biggest number, or the greatest number here, four, and then valence electron is whatever electrons exist in that orbital. So four s two, which means therefore I have two s, I have two s electrons so therefore my valence electrons for zinc i have two valence electrons for zinc here because my principal quantum number is four and that's going to be the highest energy level um, for zinc and in that energy level i have two uh, electrons here so i have two valence electrons for zinc is my answer here and as you can see uh, they also have wrote here, right? Therefore, zinc has two valence electrons because they also wrote up the um, electron configuration and the highest principal, level, uh, principal energy level is four. Like I said, N here equals four and I have two uh, S electrons there. So this solution here is correct. Solution is correct. Good analysis. <laughs>